Hello. Hi. Welcome to the stream. It's the Kirk Has Glasses stream. And on Mondays we watch Public Domain Film. And today we're finally getting to the Bowery at midnight, which uh, took forever <laughs> due to horrible scheduling and then things out of my control. But I'm glad it's finally here to watch Bowery at Midnight with Bella Lugosi and a bunch of other dudes. Including the dude, uh, the dude all the way to the right, actually the rightmost dude on that poster. He was in, uh, what was that fucking movie? He was in one of the good public domain movies. Bowery, what's that? I believe that's an area of New York City. Now let me triple check that before I just say it your right or mine uh on the poster <laughs> on the poster um on the poster itself it shouldn't matter the direction as long as we're looking at the poster it shouldn't but i, I don't know um bowery um is a street and neighborhood in the southern portion of new york city borough of manhattan so yes it's an area it's an area of manhattan also, hello, oops, it's been a while. Glad you're here. Glad you're doing okay, and you're in, in the chat. A um, couple things to announce. Um, I have updated some of the things you could purchase with Kirk Bucks, or the channel points, in the left corner of the chat. There are ways... Need some Bella Lugosi drip? <laughs> I can't afford to drip... I can't afford to drip. Wow. I mean, my brain is dying yet. I've had my coffee. Um, could be the lights. The lights are frying my brain. But if you go to the Kirk Bucks, there are things you can redeem with them. Uh, I will already tell you that if you plan to annoy me with changing my hat or glasses, there is a limit on how many you can do. Because I know that there are people that have been watching for a while that have a lot of Kirk Bucks and not much to do with them. And I've made them high for that reason, the, re the redemption of them. So there are things. <laughs> you have to actually pay for them, oops. I'm not just going to do it because you say so. You have to pay for it th through Kirk Bucks, which are in the left uh, left hand corner of your chat. I think some people have used them before just to highlight messages, but I haven't been utilizing them because I completely forgot they exist. See, that's how you do it. I'm trying to keep them I'm trying to come up with more that'll cost less, but that are just less uh um disruptive to the channel cuz changing my hat or glasses or taking them off would be kind of disruptive, but I don't know. I just realized while watching another stream I was like I haven't used the Kirk Bucks in any in any uh decent way. How about I start changing that and um I came up with those, and then immediately realized, oh wait, there's people that probably have a lot of Kirk Bucks. Uh, Milkshot is not available. Milkshot is currently not available uh, right now, because I don't have a lot of milk in the, in the hopper. But I do have a fair amount of <laughs> glasses to my right, and a fair amount of hats to my left. Oh no, you're not. Yeah, that's the problem, right? The past tense has pointed out the problem. I realized as I was setting the amounts for these things and the limits, because you won't be able to do it all, um, the entire uh, stream, there is a limit that we can get to. But I just realized, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, there's people out there with a lot. And, um, I don't know. I thought about making some really, really heavy hitters, which are... Um, <laughs> which are the ones like take off the glasses for the whole stream, which you can only do once. And perfectly honest, it's, uh, it's going to ruin my ability to watch anything because <laughs> that's how glasses work. Um, you are loyal. I appreciate that about you. Oops. But, um, like I said, I'm trying to make those interesting for you guys. I was trying to figure out if there was a way to reset it, which would be kind of fucked up to you guys, but it's also like... I can't make everything, like, 10,000 Kirk Bucks. You know what I mean? And if there's new folk, they can only do, like, the hydrated. You have one million points? One million points banana hammock? 
Uh, no. That's not gonna happen. Also, you wouldn't even see it. I could just tell you that I put it on. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Uh, also, um, I feel like I should mention, and I haven't reset it yet, so I'll do that now as I talk to you guys. Um... Hammock, no thanks. Oops, is already not on on your same not on the same side with you about that uh, always. Um, when it comes to extra life, that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, going to do extra life this year. The official day is November sixth. To um, for the hot tub stream, you'd have to. That's the here's the thing. The elephant G string. <laughs> Here's the problem. I can't, in good conscience, put up something that I'm not willing to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't, in good conscience, put up something that I don't plan to do at all. And I do not plan ever, ever, to do a hot tub stream. Mostly because I have no idea how I would set it up. I have no idea how I'd get it to work. I have no idea how I'd make it happen. Um... Damn it. I'm just trying to get the damn... Um, maybe I just have to wait. Maybe I just have to wait until I'm not doing this anymore. But I was trying to figure out how I can put the Extra Life uh, link in the description here. I already started a GoFundMe for your hot tub. Well, I mean, it can't possibly be that high. <laughs> you probably raised, I mean, $15. Uh, but, hold on. Da -da -da. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, maybe not. A bitch. Maybe I should have figured this out before I started the stream. That is a good point. Any hoozle. Um. I'm I'm sorry that I'm doing this to you guys. I'm literally just trying to figure out where I can get a goddamn link to the. There we go. Um. I'll put it up there right now. I doubt anybody will click on it right now, but before I can get it onto the About Me section of the Twitch, I'm doing Extra Life to raise money for children's hospitals, which they desperately need, especially during this COVID time and these real insane um, circumstances. And uh, I'm raising as much money as I can, but I set it at 500, which was only like, $90 more than what I got last time. So, hopefully we make that we make it this year. Uh I have no idea what I'm doing on November 6th for the 24-hour stream. It's definitely not Batman because I played a little bit of that yesterday. The new trailer got me uh wanting to play some. So, we're not playing that for the 24-hour stream, but I don't know what we're doing. I'm also not super into the idea of doing horror games for 24 hours, not just because of my uh my scaredy cat nature. Let's tag team some shit, Kirk. Legos? For 24 hours? Get some Jackbox or something to play. For 24 hours? <laughs> I think the amount of dick, the amount of sex jokes that can be played <laughs> would make that <laughs> mind numbing. <laughs> Get some Jackbox or something. Also, past tense, uh, I need to talk to you about possibly doing uh, something this Wednesday for It's Wednesday, where I play video games on Wednesday. Because I do want to play some more Phasmophobia. I want to play it. Also, the Nuzlocke thing, here's my, here's my reason for not wanting to do the Nuzlocke. Because I know what it is. I've had a coworker explain it to me. I don't... Oh, only him. You don't have Phasmophobia, oops. I guarantee you don't have it. 
on your computer to play. And I don't know if you'll be readily available at Wednesday at 8 p.m. Pacific time to play Phasmophobia, but Always Past Tense does meet those requirements. <laughs> I got other phobias. Uh, um, 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 um. Wow. But yeah, yes, those are those are things that are happening right now. We also should be back on regular schedule. We should be. I say should be, because you, you don't know the future, and for all I know, anything could happen between now and then. Uh, but the schedule should be back on track, which would be Sundays at 9 a.m., Mondays at 9 a.m., Wednesdays at 8 p.m., all Pacific time. Do I need to call the Persian boy? I think you do. I'm also gonna see. I, I do want to. I do want to play with Mike again, just because it was hilarious, and he made me feel good about my own phobias. Um, and I'm also gonna see about uh, Zach if Zach can do it. I just know that he's been working lately, and he's also three hours ahead, so that might cause issues. It might cause issues um, with the <laughs> with the timing. Uh, dun, 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 sorry, I just it's something. That bothers me oh so for no reason whatsoever. Aha! Aha! I have figured it out, I think. There we go. There's always Gone with the Wind on the table. The problem is I can't watch Gone with the Wind on stream. I can't stream it out to the people because whoever owns that knows that uh, it's worth a whole lot of money to keep it private. I know they don't do it because of its quality. Just a reaction. Oh, cool. So you want me to f <laughs> you want to fill me asleep for about two and a half hours? Because <laughs> you can explain it to us. Okay, so there's this uh, there's this bitch Scarlet. And she sucks and doesn't know what she wants. And she's literally moving people like chess pieces to get what she wants until she decides she doesn't want it anymore. And she's rich and she goes through a little bit of a struggle during the Civil War. By the way, she's all for the South because of course she is. Um, it's... <laughs> I mean, I could talk about Gone with the Wind. I can talk about Gone with the Wind a lot, but... It doesn't make it any better than what I already do on the channel, uh, which is talk about movies and have myself a gosh darn good time. But I, I don't know, man. I Gone with the Wind. A little bit of a struggle. Yeah, a little bit of a struggle. She walked across the South and then she sort of kept her family running. Look, we don't have enough time to go over everything that happens in that movie because everything that happens in that movie takes half a day. Half a day. She goes from riches to rags to riches again. No, not all by her damn self. Incorrect. Incorrect. That would be incorrect. She globs herself onto men that she uses to do a lot of that. She There is a small period when she's in the rags where she's trying to keep her family together. Try to keep her family together. But then she's like, oh, there's that hot rich ass. Let's pretend we love them. She's resourceful. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, oops, with that nonsense. We did not start this stream to debate about Gone with the Wind. We started it to watch movies. <laughs> not yell about movies that people probably haven't seen. Because it's not as long as two TikToks. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Make one of the Kirk Virgins as a topic change. Oh, shit. I've literally thought about doing that, but... Uh, actually, I'll do that right now. Why not? I'm right here. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll leave you and Ben alone then. Look, here's the deal, man. You like the movie. I like movies that people think are trash. Completely. I like the first Saw movie. And the third. And a little bit of the fourth. <laughs> 
but uh, I can understand that they are not uh, they are not the best movies. Wow, thanks for Gone with the Wind blocking me. <laughs> I'll remember this. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I have to make it a pretty high. I have to make it pretty high just because, like, you guys have so much. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that, past tense? You will rue. You will rue the day. Hold on, I'm I'm literally adding it in right now. All right, it should be there, but it's a pretty high it's a pretty high number. Uh, I think you might have to reset it. I don't know. Good thing there's Gone with the Wind subcategories. Are there Gone with the Wind subcategories on Twitch? There shouldn't be. Because how how much more could you talk about that film? <laughs> That's right, I do have to get back to the movie. You are right, past tense, we gotta get back to this movie. Bowery at Midnight, which is supposedly a horror movie. I think they only say that because Bella Lugosi's in it. Um, Because he plays like a mobster in the middle of New York, but they're like, yeah, it's a horror movie. I'm like, is it though? Because most mobsters aren't really horrific, they're just kind of, you know violent and well, I mean it depends on your definition of horror um who is Bella Lugosi he's that charming looking dude in the left corner of the poster right above Bowery I believe his his most famous uh role would be playing Dracula uh and his second most famous role would be playing Dracula again in Plan 9 from Outer Space which is about aliens resurrecting zombies who look a lot like vampires I thought it was a chick. There might be, I mean, there could be, it wouldn't surprise me, there could be a female performer of some kind using Bela Lugosi's name just as a name recognition situation. It would not surprise me. There's, of course, Bella Thorne, which I don't know anything about, but I know that that's her name. But Bela Lugosi... <clears throat> one of those classic monster men from uh, early cinema... That is just synonymous with those characters. Bella Thorne is your cousin. Well, congratulations and I'm sorry at the same time. But let's get to this let's get to this movie. We've been fucking around too much. We gotta get to Bowery at Midnight, so let me change it over here. And let's start it. <laughs> I'm not saying that I know somebody who's met Bella Thorne, but I am saying I know somebody who may have met Bella Thorne, and uh, they did not have a good review of her as a human being. Also, like usual, I'll be adjusting the sound to figure out how fucking loud this thing's gonna be. You should start writing names on yourself. Well, I thought about one thing I could do, oops, now that you bring it up. I could charge those cheer points to get your name written on the, uh, on the planter. With the Lego roses and all my pens and pencils. In fact, I am going to do that. When I find a free moment, maybe at the break. My name should already be on there. Your spirit is on there, as the purchaser of it. Amia Bella? And how was that? Amazing? Did she, uh, change your world? 
<laughs> it would be funny to start Bowery at midnight, which I know nothing about, and we only talk about celebrity interactions. You better run, squirrel. Oh shit, they're taking shots! I'm happy it's getting used. Absolutely! I had to figure out how the uh, Lego roses would look in it. Little Lego roses. I'm thinking about getting the full bouquet of Lego and putting it in there somehow, but there's just not a lot of room. I'm gonna have to kind of rearrange the whole thing. Oh man, you poor bastard. <laughs> give it a long lost love. That re enters your life. <laughs> Oh, oops. Oh, oops. You shouldn't smoke that. It might stunt your growth. All right, you gotta go ahead and smoke it. Nah, I'm saving it for after dinner. Dinner. They just grab. They just grab like a street cig. Sure, over at the friendly. The friendly what? Ain't you ever heard of the friendly mission? You sure can get some throw soup there, and no questions asked. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, pal. He's at a Mumford and Mumford concert, standing right next to me in the pit. Was it just well, Mumford without the Suns? Ain't it pretty? Also, how intense was that mosh in that Mumford, <laughs> Mumford and Sons concert? A, a lot of bows. Yeah. A lot of bows during Mumford and Sons. When they break out that fucking fiddle, bro, it just gets Quick. next level. <laughs> Fucking hell. See the guy handing out the soup? Yeah. He's the guy who runs the joint. I'll give you a personal introduction. Gee. Oh, it's let me, buddy. Where you from? I'm even behind her in the video she posted on Instagram. Well, hot shit. Oh, okay. Oh, really? I see you brought her. He defended you tonight. Yeah, he's a pedestrian from Pittsburgh. You're very welcome, my friend. Here you find food for your body, as well as comfort for your troubled mind. Can you guys hear that? I have some soup. A lot of weed, man. A lot. What's happened to your hand? Can you hear this fucking vampire? And I just heard it a little bit. Oh, just the same. We better take care of it. It's no one. He's a patient for you. Yeah, but what about the soup? Never mind. There's plenty of soup here. Plenty of soup. Don't tell Catherine, my roommate, that she loves soup. Yeah, but I. I... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, oh, you're in good hands. It's cold. Take a bowl of that soup if you don't mind. Certainly. Just be seated. What is it? They have a dentist there? They have an on site dentist? No, thank you, motherfucker? I'll take it off. Well, she's just a, she's a real doctor and or nurse. See, the guy that runs this place sure is one swell guy. Yes, he is. Most places you go to, all they want to do is save your soul. Mr. Wagner realizes a man can get awfully hungry just doing nothing. You bet he can. Have another bowl? No, thanks. Then what about a smoke? A nice cigar. Thanks. <laughs> Come on, my friend. Follow me. How, you can't trust anything that dude says, just by his voice. Help yourself. Thanks. Real Havana. I hope you enjoy it. Fingers. 
fingers. I'm sorry, mister. You must think I'm somebody else. Oh, no, I don't. I have known you and your work for a long time. I tell you, you've got me pegged wrong. You've got your wires crossed. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm a vampire. Okay. I know everything. Also, just I so you know, friend. the adding your name to the planter is now in the custom rewards. If you wish to uh, be a part of the planter. If not... Step into my private office. That is all you, brother. And or sister. But speaking of weed at a concert, the most weed I've ever seen at a concert so was for Daryl Hall and John Oates. Is that his name? I think so. Hall and Oates had the most weed I've ever seen at a single concert, and I've been to a lot of hey, <laughs> lower-card concerts. What are you doing with this? Never mind. So you are, fingers golden. All right, all right, so you know me. What's the gimmick? Must have been very hard on you to be inactive for such a long time. Oh yeah, that uh, that dude. But that is all in the past. A great plan for you. Yes, Carl. You rang. Hello, Doc. Uh, send Mr. Stratton up immediately when he arrives. Yes. Hmm. Smells like crime. Sit down. No, he meant Camilla Bella, bro. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who any of these people are. Hi, Doc. The boss is waiting for you, Stratton. Did you bring my package? Where is it? No, I forgot to pick it up. But you promised me. I gotta have it. Oh, lay off, you rum dum. So is he addicted to heroin? Yeah, it is. I, I knew you wouldn't let me down. It looks Thanks, like he's Dad. addicted to heroin. Thanks for what? That stuff is slow death. No, it isn't. I'm a doctor. I know. Doctor yeah. my eye. Yep. I wouldn't let you treat a good case of dandruff. Ooh. Yeah, that dude's on something. Just below my map of Australia. Sure many things will become clear to you. Fingers down. Trigger. I thought you were still doing time. Glad to see you, son. What are you doing here? Oh, just to let you know. You see, I think they are literally smashing together. rocks behind where I live. So you might hear that occasionally. There, <laughs> there is more than a new name in it for you if you join our little partnership. Look, you birds. I know I'm not as quick as I used to be. But these... These are still quick, aren't they? Okay, sure. that was weird. A little gay come-up. Are we going to crack a box tonight? Mr. Stratton, don't be so cruel. You mean you lay out a job? Take the place? And I tune the dial? The language is rather picturesque. The meaning is perfect. And there's nobody like Carl for his end of the job. How do you like that? A flop house for a blind. Well, you guys had me coming and going. So they run criminal operations out of a charitable area. Of course, making the point that charity is crime. Got it. Good work, Fingers. For a minute, I thought I lost the magic touch. For a minute there, I, th I lost my fingers. Okay. Fingers, it's his job. Now it's your turn, Stratton. Fingers? You heard what I said. But he's a valuable man. He was a valuable man. Hey, are you guys kidding with that talk or what? Do your job, Stratton. Mm. But Carl, I... off your nerve. Go ahead. Please. Please don't kill me. Give me a chance. I only did it you asked me to. I can show you how to... Oh. Wow. Harsh, brother. <laughs> 
that is real harsh. I'm also very curious, why is there an Australian flag? Are they trying to make it seem like this dude's Australian? And people back then were ignorant enough to be like, oh, that's a weird accent, must be Australian. How did it go? Did, did you have any trouble? No trouble at all. Everything was perfect. You act like there's something bothering you. Didn't you get a big haul? I told you everything was perfect. We got a swell haul. I still say there's something bothering you. Is it that new man, Fingers? No. Fingers won't bother anybody anymore. You mean to say he got rid of him without letting me have Excellent the body? Excellent acting. He can't do that to me. He promised me. It seems he can do anything he pleases. Didn't you get a big enough cut from this last job? I'm not griping about the cut. You know, Doc, that Fingers was a good man. He had good fingers. What's to stop him from getting rid of us in the same way? Carl wouldn't do that. He, he's our friend. Huh. Maybe your friend. Me? I, I'm fed up. Oh shit, he's you know, spying on him. Like he's spying on him. Some of these days I'm gonna tail him to see what he does do day. A couple of men tried that before you, and now they're buried. Really? I thought they'd be cremated. No. They needed to be buried as part of their religious okay. customs. Come on. Uh good morning to mommy. Good morning. A bird lady. Come on, say good morning. How about feeding a hungry husband? Certainly, darling. He's a family well, man with a bird. And I have a surprise for you, too. I'm a vampire. <laughs> you finished your book? Oh, another present. To remind you of my love. Oh. Oh, damn. They are beautiful. Just like you, my dear. But they must have cost an awful lot. Uh. Nothing is too good for you. I had the five finger discount. Ooh, ooh. How can your father give me? It only cost me fingers. And so often. To what better use could I put the money from my writing? You should save your money. It's not yours I want. It's you. Your companionship. Your fingers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty. I want a real pearl necklace. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why do you have to stay away from Are they drinking milk? Tonight? Is that How a milk? How long are we going on like It is breakfast time. Oh, you know what? I'm doing it anyway. Research for my new book will be finished soon. And then we go far away from here. Milk cheers for the milk on the table. <laughs> He's gonna open up the safe and be like, Good morning, Miss Sears. Good morning. I don't think that's milk. I know that isn't milk. That's a dumb water ah, dispenser. Nothing more invigorating than a nice cool drink of fresh mountain spring water. Mr. Atlas, every morning for three years you start out with the same stimulating conversation. Sometimes I think I'll scream. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's just good writing. Damn it. For disrespecting water. <laughs> this series of robberies is definitely the work of a homicidal maniac. Homicidal maniac. Leaving the body of an accomplice on each job proves that. Some of your uniform men are up for promotion. It's up you to earn it. As far as the plainclothes men are concerned, they better be on their toes, or they'll find themselves back in uniform. That's all. Okay, this guy could have done it a lot better. Pretty weak sauce. Chiefing, if you ask me. We're sure letting off steam, wasn't he? You ever see an Irishman with a good thing? Oh, I'm going to be missing all this soon. Say, you start drawing that pension next month, don't you? Yep. I kind of hate to retire, but of course it would be nice being without those kids. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see it? Did you catch it? Oh, I love him. Don't you? 
Dr. We're currently Keith watching Young. a movie starring Bella Lugosi. Right? These cops leave after this very not inspiring speech. Look right here. In the background, movie theater. you start drawing that next month. And the poster. Yep. Bell Lugosi in The Corpse Vanishes. <laughs> And I'm not 100% positive, but I think, <laughs> I think that, oops, sorry. I think that film. Someday I'm going to have a death. Yeah? Well, you know you're happy to get married first, don't you? I am if I ever get that promotion. You will, son. You'll be The Corpse Vanishes is in the public domain, so I can watch it on here. a place in the country just like yours. Work in the garden, It is a real movie. No idea. How being a detective will help to catch them go. <laughs> <laughs> Be seeing you, Peter. So long, Mark. Right there. Corpse vanishes. Had I known, I would have made that the movie for next week, which it is definitely not. <laughs> the study of abnormal psychology. Double feature. I'll consider it. I'll consider it after lunch. Types of insanity. Perhaps Mr. Dennison can inform the class why paranoia is so dangerous. Well, the patient suffers from delusions of grandeur. And this dude's a professor? This guy is just, around. like, living the hustle. Are you kidding? Is that all? No. He's a criminal, uh, he's a criminal mastermind. He runs a soup kitchen with a doctor in it. He has a family. you're correct. But you haven't explained why such cases are dangerous. Well, I guess it's because he acts logically. If you didn't study him, you wouldn't know he was maladjusted. And he doesn't hesitate to use force to he does have bad personality. This leads to an antisocial conduct. Making this guy feel stupid. Mr. Dennison, I take it you imply they might even enjoy... You can switch my glasses. Time. I might get some, to something close to those. I have something similar, but not exactly. Well, that's a deal, but this time the treat's on me. Goldberg? It's a little Goldberg. dark. It is. A little dark. Can't see fucking shit. I got these. But they're not the... What that hood's Frankie Mills? That's Hood's Frankie Mills? His personality. This leads to an antisocial conduct. <laughs> then Mr. Dennison. It's not, it's not completely off. I take it you imply. That's a deal, but this time the treat's on me. Now they're chasing after a dude who's shooting. That's the dude from Detour, another movie that we watched on this, which is pretty good. Look at this real intense shootout we got going on. Don't mind me, Pete. Get after him. He's your promotion. <laughs> a monocle, like, his, his glasses are like if a monocle and a pair of glasses got together. You know, started ch chatting, had a few to drink, realized that they were really into each other. Spirit took hold, they had one wild night, and then a couple months later, uh, the monocle gets a gets a letter from regular glasses. It says, I can't believe I didn't tell you we had a baby. <laughs> he reminds me so much of you, but we can't. I'm married to a different set of glasses. He thinks it's his, he's so confused. Ron Mori. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of emotion in the acting of this. Hello, this is Sergeant Crawford. Give Except for Captain the dude Mitchell that right died. Mike is occasionally picking up my drumming on my on my knees. I'm sorry, Mr. Wagner. I didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, you never disturbed me. What is it, Judy? Well, I thought I'd consult you before getting your supplies. Uh, if we need them, get them regardless of cost. Those unfortunate souls depend upon us. 
You must not feel so. I thought you'd see it that way. I'll attend to it at once. Also, what are you writing? I'm supposed to be running a, like, soup kitchen. What are you doing? Hi. Definitely didn't shoot at cops. Hi. Not a attempted cop murderer. What's up, Shadow? Welcome to the party, brother. Watching Bowery at midnight. Um, Bella Lugosi is a criminal mastermind who has a wife and bird who is also a psychology professor who has kick-ass glasses. Don't worry. And his criminal calling card is that he leaves a dead accomplice at every one of his heists. And there's an inexplicable Australia poster in his rare in his lair. Come on. And I think the movie's trying to make you believe that his accent is just Australian, which is laughable. Also, this soup kitchen's got a hot ass doctor in it, and uh, I think that's how he gets criminals into his uh, war a wife and a bird. He doesn't have a child, but he has a bird. The guy sliced me with a knife. He tried to take my dough. That's too bad. This dude just had a shootout with cops. Pretty sure Lugosi's gonna get him on board. But Shadow, I don't know if you're free later today. <laughs> but I think we're gonna be doing a double feature because... Randomly in this movie, oh my gosh, I might get it right on. Yes, I'm so good at this. So these guys these are coming out of the these guys are coming out of the police station after the cop. Yep. And behind them is a movie poster for the Bela Lugosi movie, The Corpse Vanishes, which is also in the public domain. <laughs> so we're probably going to be watching that after this, or maybe later tonight. I haven't decided. <laughs> Just because that's a crazy, <laughs> crazy thing to happen. I am if I ever get that in the country. Idea. Yep, the corpse vanishes during Bella Lugosi. Let me pray. And now we're back to treating this guy's wounds after he just got into a firefight with police. The guy sliced me with a knife. He tried to take my dough. I also can't tell if the volume's just too low or no, you can't understand anybody. This will sting just a little bit. Really? Yeah, hurt I did not know that. It don't hurt at all. Very well. Let me know when he gets here. One thing you can guarantee is I'm never going to tell the same jokes, because I'm not as clever. Also, all their doors are opened up by light bulbs, and it's very weird. <laughs> I just... <laughs> hey. There's some nice hot soup out there, that is if you care for any. Nice. Some nice hot soup. The cold <laughs> soup wasn't going very well with the, with the homeless, so we decided to heat it up. Joe, take a look in the pool hall. He's an Indiana Jones. <laughs> yes. What can I do for you? Keep your mouth shut. Well, if it isn't Frankie Mills. It's too bad you recognize me, mister. What's the matter? Are the police after you? Yeah. You better not do anything to upset this baby. This guy has balls. It's Bill Lugosi. He's got big ass balls. I do not betray you. Yes? Who is there? Police. Open up. Uh, just a moment, please. It's because Bill Lugosi don't give no shit. He's a vampire. That gun wouldn't kill him anyway. If he had a steak and some garlic, he'd be freaking out. Are you out. a habit of keeping this door locked? Oh, just a precaution. 
You see, otherwise my guests would be all over the place. Is there something wrong? Yes, there's a dangerous killer loose somewhere in the neighborhood. Really? We've got orders to search all these Bowery places. I feel like I've seen that guy before. I'd be glad to show Phil you Phil is not Australian, What's right? I'm not insane. It's just a dormitory. A couple of you boys see what you can find upstairs. Part of this, he's American? Question mark? Hungarian. Is there anything wrong? Yes. The police is looking for someone. And thought he might be hiding here. He's a young fellow by the name of Frankie Mills. About 23 years old, medium height and dark hair. Baby mm -hmm. face. Why, a man of that description was here a few minutes ago. He was? Uh, are you sure? I'm positive. I bandaged his injured wrist. Where did he go? Well, if he isn't out there, I guess he must have gone. Thank you. He's from Romania or Hungary. Which, as we know, Sign is the... Oh, jeez. You folks keep your eyes open. Oh, jeez. You see him again, notify police headquarters immediately. Certainly. I'd be happy to Shit. cooperate with the police. Shit. God right, damn it, Steam. Did they mean Austrian? No, there's a literal poster of Australia in his lair, and it's very hilarious. Else. Because that cop has a very familiar face. But I can't leave now. Well, all right. I'll be home in about an hour. Dave O'Brien is the cop. You can't relax now. Your friends are gone. Who are you? It, what are you soft soap and me for? Because I have a proposition that I think you will like. That's it. He was in Reefer Madness. That's why I know that dude's face. What do you do? Make this stuff? No. This represents the difference between my intelligence and the dollar minds of my fellow men. What gives with that? Just my house phone. Hello? Tell him to wait. I'll be right down. How would you like to join my organization? Sure. Why not? My associate is downstairs. I want you to meet him. Also, Shadow, I'm sure you have quite a bit of Kirk Bucks. <laughs> and there have been things added to it. I don't know if I already talked about it with you. You can redeem those stupid things that have been accumulating for... <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me in the least. meet Frankie Mills. Frankie Mills, huh? No wonder the neighborhood is full of cops. This is my dad. What's the matter with him? He's afraid of you, naturally. He's well, also like addicted it. to heroin. What are you afraid of? Don't get gay, kid, just because you're handy with the heater. Ho, oh, oh, ho, hold on, hold on. We all have our little fear. Hold on. All but you, Frank. This is my dynasty. Hold on. And I'm, you know what, I've been considering what making those. Do I don't know how. <laughs> and I'm not a designer. Naturally. But well, hold on. I like it. What are you afraid of? Don't get gay, kid, just because you're handy with a heater. Don't get it's gay, kid, just because you're handy with a heater. All but you, Frankie. You wouldn't believe it, Stratton. Don't get gay, I kid, just because you're handy with a heater. <laughs> That's a hot one. Don't laugh. I'm afraid of you because you lost your nerve. Why isn't there option to gift a sub and you what write a name on your boobs? <laughs> Well, Shadow, because they're really not where they're at right now. I'm considering the surgery, but I need to get a lot more subs before that's possible. Those gays and haters. Ooh. Wait, it looks like he shot him in the dick. Now. Don't fall for that line of talk, kid. I'm afraid of you. That's a hot one. Don't laugh. I'm afraid of you. Because you lost your nerve. What'd I do? Thank you. If you want Stratton's job, you can have it now. Don't fall for that line of talk, kid. He'll cross you like he has everybody else. 
Yeah, he shot him right in the dick. <laughs> he said, don't get gay, kid, just because you're good with a heater, and then shot him right in the yeah, dick. No, I... Lot of homoerotic luck, energy. What are you gonna do with this dip? You shall see. Take care of Mr. Stratton. Dormitory of the dead. Never saw a guy with more angles. <laughs> they must have been. Must have been act now. acting all loopy because of them jazz they cigarettes. Is it? Oh, uh, are they just letting the cat oh, shit God, on the graves? <laughs> Yeah. So he has he has a he has a graveyard underneath the soup kitchen, and he's also a professor. Now he's just a human derelict. When does he have time to like? Just a derelict. Still a great doctor. And I'll prove it. What and what? Why do they have to hide his medical bag? He's a doctor. I only I shot him in the you dick. Stratton, save you from the dead. Then you belong to me. Then you belong to me? A lot of weird shit. Home any moment now. Always late. Why can't she be on time just once? Well, you know, Judy, time is not her own these days. Mrs. Malvern, when are you going to put a stop to all this? Why can't you stay away from that place? Well, after all, Richard, you're the one that can make her understand. You think so? I have a doubt with her. I'm certain you can prove to her which is more important. You or that uh, Carl or whatever his name is who runs that awful place on the Bowery. I'll try. Wait, they're not married? Oh, Richard, you're a dear boy. <laughs> oh, it'll make me the happiest woman in the world. Oh. Well, how cozy. Judy. Maybe Judy. Judy. I want to talk to you. And I suppose Mother will be the interpreter. Judy Malvern, what's come over you? Richard has been waiting patiently for over an hour to see you. Course, He's really simping, like a bitch. Sit down, Alan. Please, sit down. Oh, this won't take very long. Now, what have you to tell me that's so important? Judy, I, I want you to give up that silly job. Saving humanity. It's ridiculous. And I suppose I should spend the rest of my life on your yacht. Oh, I'm not asking so much, considering that... Considering what? <laughs> my yacht is pretty cool. I, mean, I don't want my future wife wasting her time. Your I... future of what? Mm -hmm. I practically told your mother already. I suppose you'd be a good little boy and run along. Come back tomorrow and tell my mother I think you're both having hallucinations. Oh! See, now harsh, man. It. Let's forget it. Oh, Richard. Oh, Dick. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I guess it's just because I'm, I'm so tired. That's just it. You stop working down at that mission and take stock of yourself. Judy, do you realize you've given up your friends, your social life, everything? For what? You've given up me and my day? The of helping the underprivileged. You should be proud of me for that, Richard. Proud of you? For working in the Bowery? That's no place for a girl like you. And that Wagner who runs the place. And what about him? I'd like to meet him, that's all. You Everyone says he's a vampire. Nothing. Except you. Oh, so that's it. I never thought of that. You see, it's true. I knew there was another reason for you and Carl spending half your nights down there. You've no idea what a mysterious fondness I have for that man. <laughs> it's no mystery to me. You're infatuated with it. So you found out. Do you really believe that? Sure I do. Go ahead and have all the fun you want. You and your social work. <laughs> what a jealous asshole. God, 
going out there helping the needy and the less fortunate. What a bitch. Doesn't she know... What the hell is he doing? He's speaking in tongues? Or are his sex dreams just that intense? That's a good dream. <laughs> that's a good dream. You were having one of those horrible nightmares again. No, I'm waking up to the horrible nightmare. Is there anything I can get you? Glass of water, maybe? Thank you. Glass of water? Go back to bed. You sure? Mm-hmm. Good night. <laughs> He's like, go back to bed. I'll try to get back to that dream where I was banging a bunch of hot chicks. Did he touch her boob? Oh my god, did I miss it? Did I miss a boob grab? That's the face. That's the hand. Whoop! Well, that that seems to be upper chest. Hold on. Hold on. The hand comes up. Well, it depends on where her boob is. But I'm I'm not saying you're wrong. I just need more evidence. To the face. Okay, so that that's like up here. That's like clavicle area. But his hand, if his hand goes down, go back to there. Oh, it is drifting. We got a drifter, and then it kind of grazes, and it kind of grazes. So mate, you are right. Are you sure? He gets enough area that he's yeah. He's definitely. That's an official boob grab. Official boob grab snagged by oops. As a woman with boobs. <laughs> you would know more than I. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh look, those are those kick ass glasses. Yes? I'd like to ask a question if I may. Certainly. Well, it's about my term paper. I suddenly realize that I know very little about real people. Hmm. What gave you that idea? Well, after all, you can't learn about life cruising around on a yacht. You see, I was thinking of writing what a man thinks just before he dies. It's very unscientific. That's what I mean. So with your permission, I'd like to change to a paper on... If you're qualified to handle it, by all means, make that your subject. Thanks a lot, Professor. He looks like the Pinguino from bed. <laughs> a little bit. He's got a little, he's got a little penguin in him. Sergeant Crawford reporting. You, uh, sent for me, sir? And this guy was 100% in reefer madness. Over. I want you to turn in your shield. Oh. Turn in my shield? You heard me. By the time Johnny Martin's recovered, he'll be on the retired list. I requested a shield be given to you. I trust you know your first assignment. You bet I do. Good luck, boy. Thank you. He's a detective now. And as far as we've seen in this film, he hasn't done a thing except be suggested as a detective by another guy. That I'd be working with Frankie Mills on a high-class job. Yes, each day brings its little surprises. I need you later, Frankie. You know where. I'll be all set. He is kind of like the Penguin. He's running. Uh, he's running jobs around the city. You have the idea now, haven't you? We cover Frankie's getaway from here. It's a natural. That's right. See, you're smart to figure all this out. Aw, oh, rude. Pretending to be a blind man. What an asshole. Sorry, Mister. You'll have to keep moving. Seems like he looked very specifically and then smiled. Wow. The old dude jumps off a building gag. Back up, people. Back up. Quick, back up. Come on, move back. He yeeted that dude. Uh, if Bella was a villain on the Adam West Batman, who would he play? Well, I mean... 
It just sucks that Burgess. Help! I've been robbed. You stay here, Jim. George, you come with me. It just sucks that Burgess Meredith was such a good penguin. Um. And there was a Mr. Freeze. He'd be a good Mr. Freeze, I think, but he'd also be. You'll have to produce results or resign. <laughs> nobody caught him. He literally threw him off the roof, and nobody saw him do it. Chief is on the warpath. You know who he'd be? He'd be Man Bat. If Bella was a uh, villain on the Adam West Batman, he'd be Man Bat. from one end of the other. Wow, you really you really feel the emotion and the anger. Hold on. We've got to deliver the disgrace to the city and disgrace to the poison ivy. <laughs> Chief is on the warpath. We've got to deliver the goods, or we'll all be pounding the pavement. I want the Bowery search from one end of the other. What a terrible, terrible. Things are sure tough, aren't they? Well, how would you know, slumber? You wouldn't think to look at me, but I'm down on my luck, too. <laughs> well, you wouldn't think to look at me that I'm rolling in dough, would you? Big bud, that's a cigarette. Sure. Hey, aren't you forgetting something? Yeah, you got a match? Yeah. Hey, um, mind answering a few questions? Why don't you run up and down Park Avenue? Go on, feed it. <laughs> that dude just straight jacked his cigarettes <laughs> and fucking bailed. <laughs> That'd be a bold move. Hello, Sonny. Anything I can do for you? Yes, I want to try that suit on in the window. Of course, you can try it on, but not in the window. In the back. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice piece of material. What's this? Can you make me look like a tramp? Can you imagine that? He wants you to look like a tramp. He's coming into my place. Listen, Sonny, I want you to understand this is a police class establishment. How much is that suit? You want to rent or buy? I want to buy. A cash customer. Why don't you say so in the first place? <coughs> look at that hat. Also, isn't it the... Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Richard, what on earth are you doing here? Getting some free soup. You give me away. Where did you get that suit? I stole our yacht. Is this your idea of a joke? Look, Judy, I want you to help me. I'm going to write a term paper on the psychology... Hats were super big. Underprivileged. Gotta wear a lot of different hats in this time. You gotta be... You gotta have a strong hat game. Remember what you said last night? I've been giving a lot of thought. I think it's... I'm sorry, but you'll have to move on. I'll talk to you later. His hat looks stupid. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's like, what the fuck's up with him? What? What kind of people are letting him here nowadays? Everybody call this dude out, like, automatically. Hey, look at this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It never I gets to see. I like this dude. Fuck it, I'm laying down. What kind of people are letting here now? Do I? <laughs> hey, look at this. Not bad. There is something to remove the hat entirely. The Just gonna say it. Coming out of their daughter. Coming out. Coming out of what? Well, I guess they keep their kids locked up. What's the matter? Are you illiterate or something? Come on, let's get to a clean table. <laughs> a scene where a dude just gets to laugh at people's ignorance. Professor, what are you doing here? I beg you, pardon. I mean to say that you're not Professor Brenner. Brenner? I'm afraid you mistake him, young man. Oh, shit. He just straight up <laughs> telling a dude <laughs> with with my glasses on, I'm a different person. 
Está bien. I see it is useless to try to deceive you, Mr. Tennyson. You must be here for the same reason I am, to do some research. You're right. But I intend to keep it a secret until I am ready to reveal my findings. You don't have to worry about me, Professor. I can keep a secret. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> what did you bolt the door for? Oh, so we will not be disturbed. Oh, so I can kill you. Listen, I'm conducting this rescue mission for the purpose of studying men. I bet you gathered some wonderful material. Indeed, I have. Would you like me to show you around? Oh, that would be great, Professor. Come. Step in. Secret doors? I didn't know you were Australian. This is my private office. Here you will find With a skull. The skull rocking over here. It's Halloween time. We're going to that later. First, I would like you to meet some very interesting characters. Follow me. See, Australia. If you're still here, Shadow, what the fuck? Why would you do that? It could have been a map of anything that could fit that area, unless is there only an Australian fag flag flag that size? Mr. Mayor, I want you to know Mr. Demeter. I uh, am. This man is an interesting study in psychosis. I suppose you have never met a, a homicidal maniac before. Mm -hmm. He's a... What are you talking about? Ask Frank some questions. Well, I, I don't know where to begin. Ask if it gives him pleasure to take human life. <laughs> what the fuck are you driving at, buddy? You, uh, you enjoy killing people? Sure. I get in my way. <laughs> he just had his cigarette out of his mouth. Continuity error. Over here, you will see a perfect specimen would you like to question him? I guess not. I see you're losing your enthusiasm, Mr. Dennison. Perhaps I should ask you your own question. What question? The one you brought up this morning in the classroom. You see what fear does to one's memory? This morning you wanted to know what a man thinks about just before he dies. That's unscientific. You said yourself you can't ask a dead man. But you can ask yourself, Mr. Dennison. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you I'm going to murder you. You must be joking. <laughs> Frankie Muir doesn't joke. Do you, Frankie? You can't be serious. This is like a crazy nightmare. Think. You have 30 seconds to answer that question. I'm getting out of here. I'm afraid not, Mr. Dennison. That Take sucks. It. Please, Professor. What are you thinking? You're mad. Insane. All right, thank you. Don't! Wow. <laughs> Did you shoot him in the dick, too? So he's a literal crypt keeper. He's taking care of a uh, subterranean. Um, what's the word? How are you, my pet? Hungry, eh? Well, you shall have food and a new companion, too. What? What? So, okay. That's so weird. So, this dude murders a bunch of people that has nothing to do with his heists, where he murders a person on every single one of his heights. When are you releasing Kurt <laughs> When I know people will buy it. <laughs> and I mean, I don't even know what uh, merch I could make. Uh, milk glasses. Um... Shot glasses, but only for milk. I mean, dozens of men every night have been missing for years. Nobody gets excited over them. 
shirts, but th I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. The only people that would buy shirts are maybe you, Shadow, I just to tell you maybe Past Tense, maybe Hetrick. Yes, we they keep him in the cellar. But this is what I don't. <laughs> you, here's what I don't get, Shadow. Like, so he kills a, he kills a person on every one of his heists. He has just a pile of dead bodies underneath this soup kitchen, and his weird heroin addicted doctor revived all of them and is just keeping them down there. Well, perhaps you'd better, dear. But it's so ridiculous. We'll do it just to make her feel better. I wouldn't be. I, I wouldn't buy merch. <laughs> Thank you, Shadow, for being honest. <laughs> Could young Dennis explain why he came to the mission? He said he was studying type, doing research work for a college student. Tell me, Miss Melbourne. How well do you know this fellow that runs the mission? Carl look, how, look how well this guy dressed up after getting his gold Why shield. That? Because Dennison and Frankie Mills were last seen in Wagner's mission. But, but surely you don't <laughs> suspect that Mr. Wagner had anything to do with it. And honestly, thing? Shadow maybe represents know, like at least 15 to 20% of, of the audience, Robert, so... <laughs> better drop around and see Mr. Wagner right away. Right. He's there only at night. Where is he during the day? I really don't know. But Captain Mitchell, couldn't something be done about it right away? We're doing everything that's humanly possible, Mr. Denson. Crawford, you better follow through on this case. Yes, sir, and if it's uh, all right, I'd like to take Thompson with me. Good enough. Thank you. Will you pardon me? Of course. What sucks is this isn't a bad movie story structure-wise, but it's just so boring. Ready and, lady? and the acting isn't great. No. You could sell merch for Extra Lives, or whatever charity the marathon Ready? will be for. No. But that's the thing. I mean, that's Why, those are better for just direct donation. Um, because honestly, after the startup cost and how much I'd sell, I think I would just lose a bunch of money and none of it would go to charity. <laughs> See, the stuff we're watching now would be good for a montage. <laughs> Where it just shows them doing the things, and we assume, oh, they're investigating. Home address. I can't give out that information. I'm Detective Crawford from police headquarters. I wanted to talk to the professor about uh, one of his students, Richard Dennison. Oh, I see. Well, just a minute, and I'll give it to you. Highest donor gets a shirt. Here you are. Thank you very much. But oops, you know the ins and outs of screen printing. It would cost quite a bit of money just to make one shirt. you've gone home. There were two men here to see you. Policemen. Police? Yes, they just left. I'll try and stop Never them. mind. Did they say what they wanted? They wanted to talk to you about Richard Dennison. I gave them your home address. It is Was November 6th. Uh, yes. Saturday, November 6th. Quite yeah, I agree, Shadow. It'd be a good episode of something, but it's also, like... Mrs. Brenner? We'd like to talk to your husband. He isn't home, but I'm expecting him any moment. Three, two, three. Please come in. Why, well, yes, thank you. Um. I'm uh, Detective Crawford, and this is Detective Thompson. Detective? Oh, don't be alarmed. We uh, merely want to question the professor. We're the police. Trust us. Oh, I see. Won't you please be seated? Thank I you. did have an idea for a piece of merch that I think is really, really cool, but it also cost quite a bit of money, and it would be difficult to, uh... <laughs> It'd be kind of difficult to make and then, yes. I think, sell at a profit. Don't you think? And I don't think anybody would buy it. Basically, it's a great merch idea unless I wanted to sell it. Which was a shot glass with the logo on it, Kirk has glasses, and then on, on the other side, it says, Not Milk, in the same font as Got Milk. Uh, that's Carl Wagner, down in the Bowery. Or double. But that was just me, and it's almost like it's something that just I want in my kitchen. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like I said. Mrs. Brenner, have you ever had reason to suspect your husband of leading a double life? That's ridiculous. My husband is a famed psychologist. That's only the half of it. This man is also known as Carl Wagner, and he operates a mission in the Bowery, the one where Richard Dennison was last seen. 
And we have reason to believe that he's using the place to cover criminal activities. I'd actually budge. Shadow, you're flip-flopping with me, brother. <laughs> you're flip-flopping with me. <laughs> Saying this nightly absences from home. The expensive jewelry. And those horrible nightmares. She's clearly hysterical. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Benner, but we'll have to take you to headquarters for You kind of knotted up your pearls there. I understand. The fuck is that? But your classic, don't fucking know what I'm doing not? What the, what the hell? Looks like head. trash. Get your shit together, lady. <laughs> don't know why. It's called style? What style? It looks like it's all mangled up on her chest. Read a fucking book. <laughs> Read a book on, on owning and wearing pearls. Oh no. Captain Mitchell, this is Pete Crawford. I'm at the Brenner home. You'd better prepare yourself for a thunderbolt. I've just discovered that Professor Brenner is none other than Carl Wagner of the Friendly Mission. That's right, and we're bringing Mrs. Brenner in for questions. Didn't they make it into a specific tie, yeah. though? Like a thing? Like, that oh, just looks like a bunch of nonsense. I think I'll stay here and pick up the professor. Long enough to get that coat. <laughs> Mrs. Brenner? Uh-oh. Oh, Mrs. Brenner! Did he kill his own wife? Also, is that Falcor? Little dog right there? Oh, shit. Damn. Straight murderer. <laughs> I just don't want people to know I watch your stream. Well, thanks, Shadow. For supporting in one way. Shit. There, I blitzed you again. That's seven times in a row. Afternoon, Miss Judy. Good afternoon, boy. You're getting to work kind of oily, ain't you? I have things to do. Say, do you see Mr. Wagner around? Well, ma'am, I ate. Thanks. Look at that. Taking his hat off, being a gentleman. If he wasn't poor and uh, homeless, she might be interested. Uh oh, she's going in. Unannounced. She's snooping. That's a good way to die. Are you on heroin? Stop. Hello, Miss Judy. Well, what is this? Where did you come from? I can't tell you that. Why not? Clearly a secret room. Me. You mustn't let him know you've even seen it. <laughs> oh, don't be fantastic. But Carl wouldn't hurt anybody. I, I know that. I mean, he, he just wouldn't like it. Well, well, I'm your friend, Doc. You know you can trust me. I know that, Miss Judy. And I want you to do me a favor. I'll be glad to. You show me what's behind that bookcase. No, no. Oh, well, thank you. I wouldn't like it. Thank you for gifting that what sub, Shadow. I want you to get a prescription filled for me. Will you? Right away? Also, thank you for small. subscribing again, Shadow, because I noticed on the last one, I don't know Good if I said it, that's for 12 Good months, morning. which is insane. You've been subscribing for a year. I appreciate it. And while you don't want anyone else to know, I do appreciate <laughs> that you've been uh, hanging so long. Especially what with all the breaks. Oh, that's another thousand, I owe you. That's six G's, all the getting you owe me. What do you mean, six? Five. Six. Five. Trying to make a liar out of me for a crummy thousand. Why, I'll take you and I... Will you do me a favor, please? Sure, Miss Judy. Run down to the drugstore and get this prescription pill. Yes, ma'am. Glad to. <laughs> Sorry to break up your game. But he'll be back soon. Oh, that's all right. You just saved me five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars? They got no. They got no dollars. It's theoretical money. I sent one of the boys after it. Come on now, open up. But don't you ever tell a soul. Yeah. 
There's a skull. <laughs> but you don't, they're all free. <laughs> oh, you funny, funny, funny bunch. Why is she dressed like a sailor? Uh, because she's all about fashion. She's all about that hashtag fashion. Oh, shit. What an asshole. She asked you to buy something very specific, dude. You dick. She's dressed like a <laughs> Is that a sailor's outfit? See, it's just a cellar. Let's go back now. What's behind that door? It's just a little closet where I keep brooms and things. It's only my cat. <laughs> but you can't keep her locked up like that. Oh, she likes it in there. Don't be silly. She's crying, poor thing. Open the door. I, I can't. Sailor adjacent. <laughs> it's Sailor Sheik. No, no. You must go back. This guy's whole life is falling apart around him. Turns out being a mob boss slash professor slash bad husband slash murderer is just difficult. <laughs> this guy is not hard to, uh... Why would you put the names of your victims? <laughs> That's such a stupid move that I just realized. This is horrible. Oh, it smells like cat shit in here. Remember, you must never say a word about this. Under the Australia map. <laughs> She's an Alka Seltzer rep. On her off time. Everybody's gotta have like three jobs now. I mean, look at this dude. He also Ubers. Uh oh. Cat and mouse. Why did you allow her to come down here? She had nothing to do with it. Be quiet. The police are right to a scene. Richard Dennison did you no harm and you, you kill him. What do you propose to do about it? Here is a little surprise for you, Frank. You didn't tell me the girl was in on this deal. She is not. So you know what to do. Nothing doing. Don't tell me that you are getting sentimental. Killing women ain't a part of my racket. Do what you are wow, told. Wow, he I doesn't kill women. women. What a she nice guy. Oh, shut up, you fool. Oh, damn. Take care of the girl. Then I get the stuff. I'm back. All right, you boys, stay out of here. Oh, shit. Mm, shit. I love how just I love just how much the score picked up when the speed really hasn't gotten that much but <laughs> that much intense that much intense fuck my brain it hasn't gotten that intense at all but the the score is like someone's coming out of that secret door that we've never noticed until now. oh you got me you got me right in the back you got me right in the in the tender part tender part of the back Wow, he's out. I know the very place for you to hide, where no one will ever find you. Come with me. <laughs> I prepared this for just such an occasion. Well, the Hilton grave was a lie. <laughs> Oh my god, they're going to eat him alive! Well, that takes care of the professor. <laughs> We're going to let him rip him apart. <laughs> and we'll be married. Yes, Richard. 
And you can do your social work anywhere but the Bowery. Yes, Richard. Yeah, as long as you do exactly what I say. Three boys and three girls. Yes, Richard. Six kids? Come here. You want a half dozen? She's going to be so fucking tired. Can't you do anything besides say, yes, Richard? Yes, Richard. The perfect wife. So... So is... <laughs> So is the message <laughs> give up your career because it's obviously crime ridden and terrible. Reasonable amount of kids. <laughs> and then just say yes to everything your husband says. Um, all right. I'm going to take a quick break, use the restroom, and I'll come back, talk a little bit about midnight. Is it midnight at the Bowery? Hold on. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Midnight. At, oh, Bowery at midnight. Wow. Okay. Be right back. Well, Bowery at midnight, um, kind of sucked. I mean, I, you guys kept talking about it. It, it kind of sucked. I mean, besides the boob grab. And you did mention that there was no woman screaming. There was one scream from a woman, but it was very quick and it didn't last very long. And it, uh, wasn't the star, it was just some woman. So, there was a woman screaming, but not a whole lot of women screaming. So, kind of sucked. Any uh, it, it, I mean, so many times we watch these kind of movies, and it seems like, oh, like an interesting idea. Here's a guy who lives a double life. Actually, this really horrible monster, he's a psychology professor, can kind of bring that conversation into his work, but... All of the acting was so lame, and it seemed so weirdly like shoving in this horror aesthetic on top of all this weirdness. It it was it was bad. It was it was bad. It was a bad movie. But um, bad movies that give you conversation are still fun, and this was this was a bad one. And and yeah, wonder if a, the other movie is good or another flop. Are you speaking, of course, of the corpse vanishes? Oops. Is that what you're speaking of? The movie that was in the movie that uh, we just watched and you have possibly suggested making it a double feature. Well, you know what, Oops? I'm feeling, I'm feeling the need. And that's the need for some more Bela Lugosi. So we're doing The Corpse Vanishes after a little break. Um, not a very long uh, be right back, but I did want to I did want to give a little taste of what will be happening next Monday because this movie I'm also excited about um, you saw it on the opening um, uh, uh, marquee that next week uh, I believe it's the 24th 25th next Monday we're going to be doing another horror movie because uh, it is the spooky season and um, I saw this one, and it looks so bad. It looks like it's shot bad. It looks like it was recorded poorly. It looks like it was transferred to the internet poorly. And it looks like the the story itself seems pretty stupid. So I really wanted to watch it. So next Monday, we're going to be watching a little film. A Canadian film, no less. Is there a public domain Frankenstein? There is a public domain Lady Frankenstein that turned out to be softcore, which almost got me in trouble for boobies. But um, the movie we're watching on next Monday is Eternal Evil slash The Blue Man from 1985. You make movies. A long time ago. I make commercials now. Paul's life has become too routine. He's tired of his job. I've been carrying you and this company for years and I had enough. His wife. Oh, for God's sakes, Jennifer. Jesus himself he dreams of getting away from it all you know that when i did wandering soul i started experimenting with astral projection some lunatic notion about traveling outside your body come on Fucking Jennifer. janice will change that forever you will be able to control your destination. 
She helps make all of Paul's dreams come true. Whoa! Leave me alone. I just buried She had Taco Bell. You went to the office. You fell asleep. What'd you do then? You call home? You can only be seen if you want to be seen. Nashville's Karen Black and Winston Record of Agnes of God star in Eternal Evil. Sometimes dreams can turn into a real nightmare. <laughs> That song, that song was slapping. I was ready for it. <laughs> All right, so that that'll be next Monday. Eternal Evil looks really bad, and I'm very excited for it. But right now, we got to talk about the Corpse Vanishes, a movie I know fucking nothing about. I haven't done any research on, other than it being in the movie of uh, the, the this same poster. <laughs> this same poster was in the movie we just watched which is absolutely crazy and it felt like a, an omen to do the movie. But let me let me well first off, I have to double check to make sure there's no titties in this or 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 peenies or uh too sexy of scenes. Uh I doubt it will be, but I should check. I love dummies, especially Canadian ones. That looks so bad. It was also great when I looked up that movie cuz I was like, I don't know, it feels like there might be a fleeting boob in this. And it said like Canadian horror film was <laughs> it was at one point uh recognized for its uh um for its horror and was like asked to be introduced into like this registry or some bullshit and I was like yeah no one no one's ever no one's ever thought about this movie again I guarantee it <laughs> there's nobody who's like man you remember you know a movie slapped eternal evil aka the blue man um so corpse you know what there's no parents guide entry for the corpse vanishes so we're gonna just take it on faith that there's no boobs in it but um i gotta change i gotta change a whole bunch of stuff i gotta change the I gotta change a bunch of stuff because we're no longer watching Bowery at midnight, we're watching The Corpse Vanishes. Alright, and I think, at least I hope so, I think this one's also just around an hour. I don't think this one's a long one, which would be very helpful because I do need to eventually have lunch <laughs> and do other things today. I know it seems like this is all I do. Let's see here. Bowery at midnight. No longer needed. Um, da -da -da -da. all right, the corpse vanishes. I know I saved it. Where is it? Um, oh, I can get rid of that too. The devil's hand stuff. We watched that weeks and weeks ago. All right, open it with a VLC player. Before it gets going, I'm going to do just a quick run through of the movie just to make sure that there's not some grainy black and white boobies that are gonna get me in trouble and banned all right looks like we're good a canadian ghost keeps apologizing and ectoplasm is made of maple syrup <laughs> or poutine <laughs> sometimes it's physical manifestation is poutine um all right, strap in for another one. We're doing a double feature. Um, I should put a put a notice on the. Strapped.
And you, Phyllis Hamilton, do you take whoa, 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 Hold on, hold on. Right from the jump. Right from the jump. Where is this guy looking? Love, honor, and obey until death do to be your legal law to be your hold on hold on shit i have so little control over this one and you oh fuck i'm sorry 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 i didn't change it over my bad i'm stupid there we go we'll start it over um so you get the you get the whole <laughs> the whole experience are we just <laughs> sorry it was an accident Trying to get uh I'm trying to get an announcement out on the on the Discord. And you, Phyllis Hamilton, do you this take guy. this man to be your Keeps leading looking off lawfully right wedded camera. husband to love, honor, and obey? Be a better actor, until dog. Until death do you part? I, I do. Take her into the ante room. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. She's just overcome. It's her wedding. She's a woman. She's emotional. Dr. Rayburn, I'm Pat Hunter from the Chronicle. Please, this is no time for interviews. <laughs> Shall I telephone for the ambulance? No. The Undertaker. She's dead. <gasps> <gasps> she died before she got married officially. What a waste. Look how... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can we talk about how hilarious this job is right here? Look at how uneven. <laughs> you lift up just a little bit more or you bend down just a little bit more. Come on, it's a body. Show some respect. I don't know what the game is here, but they couldn't grab the corpse at a different moment. It has to be right when she's about to get married. Hey, I can go now. Is that all? Hey, thanks. <laughs> thanks, mister. I'm gonna go buy another hat. Good evening, Dr. Rayburn. I'm from the Forest Mortuary. Forest Mortuary? Why, two of your men just drove away with the body a few moments ago. Well, there must be some mistake. There weren't our men. <laughs> well, I've heard of ambulance chasing, but this is something new. New? It's sensational. Another kidnapping of a dead bride. What a story! Ha <laughs> <laughs> We have no moral code. Are they... Wait, hold on. Are they victims? They died. Bleep crank? What? And a few minutes ago, one of the men who helped remove <laughs> the body of the mysteriously dead bride was apprehended by the police. Go on, keep talking. Go on. What I told you, I was standing on the corner, minding my own business, when along comes a stiff wagon. A guy pokes his head out of the window and asks me if I want to make a couple of bucks. How many men were with that hearse? Two. At least all I could see. What'd they look like? I don't know. But dark. <laughs> I didn't pay no attention to faces. You notice the license? What, with two bucks staring me in the face? Come on, tell the truth. What'd you do with the corpse? I didn't do nothing with Tell the truth. What I tell you is the truth. So help me. <laughs> Shadowy corpse thieves. <laughs> Harvey Dent <laughs> takes action. As district attorney, Mrs. Munford, Look I assure you there won't be any trouble. You can proceed Look at the, the hat plan. game on these two well, ladies. we want some assurance besides Fucking words. hell. We want protection. I'll have plenty of men guarding the chapel. And if I'm any judge of the appearance of your daughter, she looks as healthy as she is beautiful. 
Oh, really, Mother? I think your mom's hot. To do about nothing. Oh, you're not. Your, daughter, your daughter's hot. Not in the least. Well, if we have protection, I'll feel much better about it. You'll have it all right, Mrs. Wentworth. Fucking hat game is strong. Tell Jones and Riley to wait. I'll pick him up. That's the Wentworth mother and daughter, isn't it? Is the wedding called off? Certainly not. And there isn't going to be any trouble either. That's what all the rest of them thought. I can't answer for Miss Wentworth's Fuck, health, God but your damn. paper can print one thing, and that is that there'll be no more theft of girls' bodies. Come on, let's let's go with the uh, go with the hat yeah, that has a color. This will get you and Sandy into the wedding, and I want plenty of photographs. Oh, right, don't worry, boss. I got enough film to cover the Russian front. <laughs> oh, Mr. Keenan, you promised to take me off the society column. Oh, quit beefing. You're getting a break. This quit beefing. This is the wedding of the year. What if the Wentworth girl drops dead, too? You'll still tell me what she's wearing along with the rest of the fancy pants. Get me the guest list and don't bother about anything else. I've got three men working with the police and there'll be plenty more thereabouts. If the bride pulls up this time, there won't be any snatching. I'll get going. What if I get a clue? Oh, I wouldn't let that bother me, sweetie pie. You wouldn't know a clue if it bit you. Yeah, you dumb bitch. I remember those words, <laughs> What the fuck too? was that about? <laughs> Did she put him in his place and I missed it? Hold on. Smother. If I get a clue. Oh, I wouldn't let that bother me, sweetie pie. You wouldn't know a clue if it bit you. <laughs> I remember those words, stooge. Well, she just called him a stooge. Free hat. Why are you so nervous, Mother? After all, I'm the one that's getting married. Oh, I, I just can't help it. I, I, I'm so afraid something will go wrong. I'm just Forget so nervous it. when we're not wearing hats. Nothing can possibly happen. Oh, Alice! Oh, you look at them ugly-ass dresses. I look all right. Oh, yeah. This one looks like she's wearing a fucking picnic. <laughs> <Have you seen laughs> <blankets>? <laughs> oh, and I know fashion. I'm basically Mr. Fashion. We're late and this wedding won't wait for us. Can I help it if we had a blowout? Serves you right. Why don't you buy some new tires for this bus? You know, I've been thinking of getting... Hey, are you kidding? Come on. You don't know anything about cars. You're a woman. Who's this suspicious-looking motherfucker? They don't find it odd that a fucking hearse shows up to the wedding. Oh, Dwight, you mustn't come in here. It's bad luck. Oh, not even a peek? Not even one. You'll see me soon enough. You see? <laughs> not even a peek? Can't get a little peekaroo? Uh, girls. Do you mind if I have these last few minutes alone with Alice? Oh, I know. Oh, oh, my God. oh, my God, what a bitch. Yeah, total bitch. My mom's such a bitch. Well, Mother, you're about to lose me. I hope not forever, dear. This guy's horny oh, AF. Hell yeah, dude, it's his what wedding day. What are you day. talking about? Do you He's here for right, one dear? reason, and that is Certainly, hours after the wedding. Life. You should forget all that silly nonsense about those brides dropping dead. <laughs> You should forget all that silly nonsense about those wives dropping dead. Oh, thank you. Hey, we got I'm your right. mysterious no thing doubt. that wasn't mentioned before. Oh, I'll wear this next to your heart, darling. All my love. <sighs> what an unusual orchid. Well, I never saw one like it before. It's huh. A lot of it's people have been beautiful. dying at their wedding. I've just been handed a very strange thing I was told to put next to my heart. Mustn't be a problem. Let's get to it. The minister is ready, Mrs. Wentworth. Thank you. They've been waiting on the minister? Say a little prayer, darling. You're about to throw yourself at a man. You look faint, dear. Do you feel all right? Yes. Oh! 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 Another Alice. one? Alice. Oh, darling. Darling, are you all right? Oh, Alice. Alice. Oh. Happened again. I just got the picture of the month. <laughs> what assholes? Wouldn't they just be kicked out of the fucking wedding?
And wouldn't they vet the guys driving the corpses after like the third time? They'd be like, hey, who do you work for? Let me see some fucking ID. Oh, we got the coppers. We got the coppers. We're not losing this body, see? What Fast and Furious style heist are we gonna see to get this fucking body? I just found the news to Keenan. Did you get any more pictures? Did I get pictures? I covered everything except a close-up of this pretty posy. Why, that looks like the one the bride wore. What are you doing with it? Presenting it to you, sweetheart, as a token of my <laughs> devotion. Take a smell. Who ever heard of an orchid with a scent? Well, that one has. Maybe it's a clue. <laughs> what a peculiar sweet odor. Yeah, make a swell romaine salad. <laughs> hey, Pat. You're not gonna pass out too, are you? No. No, I'm okay. Huh, it's right after smelling this thing that's strange. That the bride had on her before she died. How crazy. Oh, shit! Oh, damn. They're gonna steal the car. Or no, they're gonna... Did they just set fire to a random person's car to do this? It's like I can smell the corpse. Body transfer. Now the guys in the car, are they dead? Or do they not notice this happening? What kind of a gag is this? No driver, no license plate. Maybe it isn't a gag. Maybe it's a decoy. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe we should go check the thing we just left. Oh, and they ganked him. This is already way more interesting than the movie we just watched. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Another abduction of a girl's corpse. Brunette, 22 years of age. Stop and search all trucks and suspicious looking cars. That is all. Burnside. Excuse me. Excuse me now. Pile out. We're taking a look inside this ring. Sure thing, officer. They're stopping hearses all over the place. <laughs> There's a dead person in there. Yeah, usually how hearses work. That's that's the scene of the movie right there. That's the scene right, of the movie. Excellent. All right, go ahead. New Tinder profile for Bella. That's Change awesome. that headline to read as wedlock challenge. Then set up an editorial attacking the DA's <laughs> office for playing models while some madman runs away with the bodies of dead brides. Okay, Mr. Keenan. I also love that he was right like, away. okay, quick, I gotta look dead. Oh, so Eyes wide open, mouth open. Well, of all the rotten stories that have ever been turned into this office, yours takes the prize. No guest list, and we don't even know what the bride wore. She wore this orchid. Listen, Miss Hunter, I have a great responsibility. I'm a public servant. Parents are calling the Chronicle frantically with tears in their voice, begging for news of their daughters. Yeah. I have a daughter myself who's about to be married. Maybe she'll drop dead too, but she won't drop dead from an orchid. I didn't say that. Well, then what are you talking about? Every one of the brides that died and disappeared were wearing one of these orchids. How do you know? Well, I checked. Look at these pictures. How oh, is she doing more work than the detectives? <laughs> Then where did the Wentworth girl get this orchid? The bridegroom didn't give it to her. Perhaps a dozen people gave it to her. Her mammy, her pappy. No, nah. I checked. 
Besides, this orchid has a peculiar odor. That's unusual. Well, if you think it's a clue, why don't you follow it up? Is that an assignment? It's a notice that you're through if you don't bring something in. Okay, Mr. Keenan. You stupid, stupid woman with your theories and ideas. Clearly, the dude's up to something. Do you see that fucking house? <laughs> a completely really dark house on top of a hill. He's clearly up to some shit. the Mystery Science Theater of this one afterwards. Actually, I think they're on Twitch right now. How weird would it be? <sighs> yeah, it's the 30s. <laughs> of course she's going to do all the footwork and the man will take the credit. My little family, you're all so very faithful. Master, the Countess is waiting. Upstairs? Now. Oh, you must hurry. Mike. What episode is Mystery Science Theater doing, though? If they're doing this same one right now, that would be insane. He's also got a little family of freaks that are way more interesting than his weird cronies that he kept murdering. Terribly. You must hurry. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I was detained. Please forgive me. Forgive you. You might waste time while I wait here dying. Dying. Courage, courage. Uh, I will not let you die. Better death than agony like this. Look at me. Look at me. I'm so gross oh, and old. Now, will you hurry? I love how lazy the writers were back then. Almost every movie had a main role in this. <laughs> I gotta clean the area before I turn her into a vampire. <laughs> It's definitely not that movie. It looks very interesting, though. It's like a movie with fraud people that <laughs> Mr. Science Theater streams do. Got it. Got the whatever I need out of her neck. More body switching. I don't think this is body switching. Just from the description of the movie, he's like taking out a substance from her body to keep her young. So I don't think it's body switching. I think it's more of like uh, the QAnon conspiracy, really. That's what it is. <laughs> they, and you ha can only get it if the woman's about to be married, which is kind of mind-blowing unless they just wait for the most high-profile thing in a person's life to get their uh, whatever it is, adrenochrome, or whatever the fuck. Hey, could you stop your bitching? I'm trying to keep you young here. <laughs> Get the fucking out of here. And we can't show needles go in. Hey. Hey. Watch your dude. Watch your dude. Don't desecrate the corpses. Ow. Ow. <laughs> the f what? <laughs> okay, so it just got... Real weird. Now he's taking Why off his... Why do you beat my son so hard? Because he's a beast, an animal, a 
Someday I shall have to destroy him. Oh, wow. This is My straightforward. Son, why was he ever born? Young again. Looking fresh. <laughs> Can you bear to look at me now? Of course. Hell yeah, Thank I got you. a straight boner. I shall always keep you that way. Will she live? As long as she can be of any use to us. She's pretty. Mm. Very young. All of them. Where's that hand going? Come, my dear. Where's the, where did, where, oh, okay. I thought the hand was going on. Yeah, go, Paco. Yes, None of the floors I checked with ever saw an orchid like that. Well, that's not surprising. This particular type belongs to the Stanhopia class. It's a very rare species. Do you know of anyone that grows them? No. But if you wish to find out more about them, I suggest that you look up a man by the name of Lorenz. He was the one who originally hybridized this plant over in Europe somewhere. But he's a, he's a famous hybridizer. Oh, that He'd be hybridized in like a motherfucker. He lives up at Brookdale now. He also hybridizes you, glasses and it's glassware. He did this weird cross between a monocle and glasses. Next level shit. Looks like that box got a coffin in it, Jeff. Sure does. For Professor Lorenz. What do you suppose he wants with a coffin? Search me. He's such a strange, spooky guy. Further, I stay away from him. Is it me, or could you just get away with all kinds of crime in the 1930s? Take it away. Glad to get rid of it. I obviously haven't done my research. I'm just a dumbass on the internet. But how much crime did people just get a fucking way with? Because people didn't go like, huh? This dude's buying a lot of, lot of, a lot of shit to house corpses. A lot of. uh... A lot of Where stuff to, for miss? dead people. I wonder what he's doing. Lorenz. Lorenz, I'm sorry, I can't take you there. I, well, I, I am out of gas. You mean you won't take me? Yes, ma'am. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just. Is this the so what you're saying is you're time? a bitch? Yes, ma'am, it is. Did I call I've a bitch got Uber? To get to the Lorenz place. I'll make it worth your while. Oh, I'm sorry, lady, but uh, that truck's going up there. You might get a ride with him. That is, if you don't mind riding with a coffin. Would you give me a lift to the Lorenz place? What do you want to go there for? To see the professor. Does he expect you? No, but then I... Then we can't take you. I love how there's just a little person like, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, oh, and they don't notice. A person getting on the back of the vehicle. Oh man, she'd be like covered in dirt and shit. Oh, this bitch. Get off and stay off. Look, I've got to see Professor Lorenz. It's important. I said you couldn't ride. <laughs> Let her get her shit off. Did she put her bag on there? Hey, wait a minute. You've got my bag. Oh. Called it. Look at this hat. This hat is all kinds of something. It goes... It's like a sloped situation. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of height on it, but it doesn't cover up that much of her head. She's gonna get hit by this car. Would you mind giving me a lift? Well, certainly not. Where are you going? I'm trying to get to the home of Professor Lorenz. Well, you're in luck. That's where I'm going. Get in. Thank you. He gives me a special deal on uh, corpses of women. My name is Dr. Foster. I'm Patricia Hunter. Are you a friend of the Lorenz? No, I'm a reporter. I hope to interview the professor. You're his doctor, I presume? Well, not exactly. Lorenz is a doctor himself, but he has no license to practice. I've been working with him. We're trying to find a cure for his wife. Oh, I see. What type of people are the Lorenzes? You'll find them very interesting. Creepy. Professor Lorenz is Horrific. an unusual accomplishment, but his wife is rather peculiar. I expect you'll find them both a bit eccentric. 
His wife is kind of, how do we say, a raging bitch. I hate hanging out with him, but he pays me. This, this damn door? God, we gotta get somebody out here to fix this thing. Got a bunch of doctors, we have no carpenters. Yeah, looks like a wild time out the Lorenzas. Just playing organ while she sits in a creepy ass throne. Toby, tell your master I'm here. Cheerful little fellow, isn't he? I told you they were eccentric. I'm inclined to believe you. I don't trust anybody with a mustache like that guy. Pencil thin? No, thank you. Hi! <laughs> Get out, you gargoyle! Get out! Rude! What a bitch! You dirty, dirty bitch, Good calling evening, him a gargoyle Foster. like that. Come you don't right even in. deserve all this. Good evening, Professor Lorenz. Youth. Countess? May I present Miss Patricia Hunter? How do you do? We have been expecting you. So you found my bag in your truck? Yes. There it is. Miss Hunter's a newspaper woman. I came here hoping you might grant me an interview. An interview? About what? No one asked you to come here. You are not welcome. Wow. Control yourself, my dear. Wow. Okay. Sure okay, we got a slap on. counter now. My Hold dear. on. <laughs> I'm sure. There it is. Miss Hunter's a newspaper woman. I came here hoping you might grant me an interview. An interview? About what? No one asked you to come here. You are not welcome. Bam. Control yourself, my dear. Holy shit. I'm sure Miss Hunter meant no harm. Please forgive my wife. She's not well. Come. You had better retire. Oh, wow. So that's what you call being eccentric. Well, I have another name for it. <laughs> being a straight bitch. She's Hold on. Here for no good. We have nothing to fear. Sorry, Professor, if we're intruding. Not at all, Dr. Foster. This is our evening for work. Please, be seated. Thank you. <laughs> that was awesome. What do you wish Please to be seated after my wife Orchids. slapped you. Orchids? Yes, I understand that you're an authority on the subject. They were once my hobby, but I haven't grown any for several years. Which species are you interested in? A very rare one of the Stanhopia type. A horticulturist told me that you're the original hybridizer of it. <laughs> I don't have think you that's like one. <laughs> yes, I have one in my bag. I'll show it to you. They said just if you feel it out. Where did you get it? Oh, um, a friend of mine gave it to me. You see, I'm doing an article on orchids for my newspaper, and I thought that you might be willing to supply me with some special data. I'm sorry I can't spare the time tonight, Miss Hunter. You see, I have very important work to do with Dr. Foster. I understand. If your interview can wait until morning, I'll drive you back here then. If that's agreeable, Professor Lorenz. Well, it's quite agreeable, but I would suggest that you both stay here as my guests. Thank you very much, but I prefer going to a hotel. Just as you wish. I think it would be foolish to go out in such a storm. The professor is right, Miss Hunter. Perhaps we had better remain. However, if you insist, Maybe it's I'll cold outside. back to the village. I'm afraid that would be an imposition since you've so much work to do. Thank you, I'll stay. Are they going to show the little person, like, dropping water outside the oh, logo? Oh, we will show you to your rooms. Making the thunder and lightning himself. <laughs> so we take up Miss Anders' bag. Good night. Good night. I'll meet you in the study soon. Very well. Hey, could you not slap people? It's only more suspicious and fucking rude. Why did you ask her to spend the night here? A very special reason. <laughs> I want to make make you jealous. You're really hot when you're hitting women for no reason. Also, it seems rude to ask that guy to bring up the bag when the bag is as big as he is? I mean, I don't want to say that he can't do it. It's just as like, I guess do it. you sleep very good. Maybe. 
<laughs> okay, well, that was creepy. The few times I've stayed overnight here, I slept unusually well. It must be wonderful to have nerves like that. Tell me, just how well do you know these people? Why, actually, not very well. <laughs> I've only recently moved into the village. You know, a young doctor trying to establish a practice. You know. Well, I must be keeping you from your work. Good night, doctor. Good night. Nonsense. I only planned on masturbating in my room alone. Who's that on the wall? You see that sculpture? A Grizzly Adams? What do you want? Oh my god. Yes, you are beautiful. How did you get in here? So young. Such love. Are we adding to the slap skin. counter? Sometime you too will be a bride. <laughs> okay. All right. Creepy lady. Real hot and cold. Was slapping me earlier. Now she's feeling up on my shoulders. Telling me I'm going to be a bride soon. Don't know what that's about. Take off that sweet hat. Yeah, I don't think I'd be sleeping after that happened, because it means she can get in and out of your room in ways you're not aware of. <laughs> the closet? You didn't check the closet? Oh, this woman wants to die. <laughs> I know Oops must have stepped away. She would have said something about the slap. Okay, how long are you just going to stare at her, buddy? Just came in to check in, you know? That's, that's just being a good host. Come in, creepily stare at the guest sleeping, and then bounce. <laughs> like a vampire was just looking at me. <laughs> what are you doing, creepy? I know where you're going. Gross. Yeah. Dude, don't tell me that there is a Someday, subplot. The master will catch you. <sighs> then you'll be sorry. <sighs> Do not tell me there is a subplot about this dude feeling up on women asleep and or dead. See, he's just checking up on his house guests. Just being a good host, man. As you approach a sleeping woman, hey, don't lick or rub your lips as you're... And don't feel her hair. Hey, bud. Hey, personal space. What are you doing? 
We got a woman scream. <laughs> Please tell me she's just out of there. She's just out of the house. Grab your shit. Get the fuck out. Get out of there. Dr. Foster? Dr. Foster? They're vampires. Dr. Foster. What's wrong? I just saw someone in my room, a horrible looking creature. <laughs> oh, was that? <laughs> oh, was that Steve? Uh, Steve's he always doing that kind head. of shit. You get used to it around here. Also, this doctor has, like, been to this place a bunch and has never had suspicions about them. He's never seen anything that's been like, huh, that's a little out of pocket. Apparently he's not here now. Where did you see him? Leaning over my bed. Of course, you might have been dreaming. I'm positive I wasn't. Earlier in the evening, Mrs. Lorenz suddenly appeared and then disappeared. Do you suppose there's another entrance to this room? Well, I doubt it. Why don't you try to go back to sleep? No one's going to harm you. I'm sure it was just a nightmare. I think this whole place is a nightmare. <laughs> Professor Lorenz and his wife were actually sleeping in coffins, I saw them. We often find it difficult to explain the peculiarities of some people. Well, I guess so. I'm awfully sorry to bother you. There's no trouble. If you're frightened, call me again. Good night. Good night. I've got nothing else to do. I'm only working on trying to save this dude's uh, wife's life, but, uh... What is the trouble? Hmm. The angel. He has disturbed our guests. Always the angel. He is a menace to us. Yes. I think the time has come to dispose of him. Oh, shit. She's lurking. She's finding the ways ins and outs. Banging on shit behind me. Just banging shit outside. Just tiptoeing down into the dungeon. Scoping it out. Checking the scene. Oh, you're giving him the wrong idea. Oh, he's gonna be all about it now. Dude. Some decorum. Just eating meat off the bone in your bed like a savage. You gotta clean yourself up a little bit, bro. You gotta put your best foot forward if you want to get a lady like this. You think she's gonna see that and be like, wow, obviously you're really into being gross. This movie started out so well. And now it's literally just people walking around a haunted house, basically. <laughs> and you're just gonna leave that there? Come on, dude. Wow, what a... They do need to get rid of this guy. He's nothing... He's nothing for this organization. <laughs> Tricked him. So what's up with his haircut? His haircut's kind of stupid.
They got all these real fancy doors, but they don't have lights. <laughs> Very complicated mechanisms for all the entries, but we don't have any lighting, really. Okay, well, I guess I'll just creep on a different body. Oh, no. Gross! Hey, man. It's gross. building tension or boredom depending on uh, depending on your sensibilities oh he's gonna lock her in he's gonna lock her in Corpses. That grunt was awkward. Don't be afraid, Angel. I would not hurt you. Really fucking things up, Angel. Gotta wash my hands of murder. Gotta get all the murder off my mitts. Uh, is he gonna go two for two? Is he gonna double up on murder? Gonna catch a double homicide? <laughs> really? You saw the bodies of a bunch of women. Are they just going to... Oh, they're going to pretend it was a dream. Yes? Good morning, Miss Hunter. Oh, good morning. Just a minute, Dr. Foster. I want to see you. He's like, sounds cool. Oh, Shit. I'm sorry, I thought you were up. Has oh, popped off. I've been up all night with dead people. Dead people? <laughs> what do you mean? Come in and I'll tell you. I've been up all night with dead people. Oh. What kind of a place is this? Last night I had the most horrible experience of my life. Well, what was it? I saw lots of girls in crypts down underneath this house. Pardon me. What was that you were saying, Miss Hunter? I view a mausoleum in the basement. Mausoleum? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. All those dead girls and that horrible dead creature. My dear, you must have had a bad dream. Now look, Professor, this was no dream. When did you see all this? Shortly after I called you and told you about that horrible creature in my room. Is that true, Dr. Foster? Well, I don't recall anything about it, Miss Hunter. You must be mistaken. Well, if I was dreaming, it was the darndest nightmare I've ever had. Well, I slept very soundly myself. Miss Hunter. You must be crazy. A I'm a I... man. Therefore, I know you what's going our on. Dreams, our minds play strange tricks on us sometimes. Yes, I suppose so. Gas lighter. Well, professor, Just gonna that do some I gas lighting. Gone. I couldn't find it in my bag. That's too bad. Perhaps you forgot to pack it. Will you be down soon? Yes, right away. Are you coming, Doctor? Of course. Perhaps you forgot to pack it. I love all the uh, like ornate chairs we got in this place. So many weird like crafted to the ends of the earth chairs. <laughs> Uh-oh. Left an orchid in the room. Hey, we're just chilling in one of the chairs. We call it chair chilling here. 
Shall we go into breakfast? No, thank you. I've got to get back to the city. Will you drive me to the station, Dr. Foster? I'll be glad to. But what about the interview? Well, that'll have to wait until some other time. I just remembered an appointment at the office. So I've got to catch the next train. You'll excuse me, Countess? Yes, I will excuse you. Uh-oh. Going for oh, another slap? Do you also make a hobby of collecting coffins? Why, yes, in a manner of speaking. I find a coffin much more comfortable than a bed. Weirdo. Many people do so, my dear. Is it so strange that I accept one while waiting for eternal rest? No, I suppose not. Well, thank you for your hospitality. Goodbye. Hospitality? She slapped you in the fucking I face. I trust we will meet again. Coffin fish. It will be so nice meeting you. They slept in sep separate coffins, too. They ain't, they ain't touching... Unless they, you know, transfer coffins. They do a little coffin Don't jump. Don't tell me I'm still dreaming. Well, what do you mean? That grave digger. He's real, isn't he? Oh, he's real, all right. But I hardly think he's a grave digger. More likely laying the foundation for a house. You're a trusting soul, aren't you, Doctor? Is that a crime? No, on the contrary. I envy you. Are you trying to make me believe you're one of those hard-boiled reporters that we read about or see in the movies? <laughs> no, but working on a newspaper, one becomes cynical and suspicious. <laughs> I don't like the idea that... What the fuck is her hat? <laughs> I was saying the same thing. Her hat gets a lot of... It gets a lot of height, but it doesn't cover a lot of the head. And it's... it's she's worn it more than once. This is a favorite uh, hat of hers. I hope to have the pleasure of seeing you again. I have a hunch you will, Dr. Foster. Oh, tell me. Just why did you come up here? Or is it the secret? I just it got is, out of the meeting, so I missed some stuff. Somehow I feel that I can um, trust you. You can. You've heard of the case of the vanishing brides. Why, surely. I think I have a clue. You don't mean that you suspect... Yes, I do. You well, mean the weirdo you. that sleeps in a coffin that has a bunch of weirdos as what his servants? They? Yeah, that guy. Why, they're orchids, of course. You bet they're orchids. Um, and they didn't all you need to know is dreams. Bella Lugos exactly like is stealing bed. women right as they get them? married the and getting something out of their morning. body to make his the wife young. The came into my room last night must have brought these with him. That seems like a logical explanation. There's no question about it. Honestly, Doctor, don't you remember meeting me in the hallway last night? No, I don't. And if I did, I... I must have been asleep. Either that or you were hypnotized. Yes, that's quite possible. Oh, so this is... I, I guess it is now. It seems like it just started to be one. But this woman basically well, sleuthed said, out that this dude is a murderer. That's a promise. Goodbye. Not by goodbye. finding the bodies goodbye. and finding everything. And then she got up the next morning and everyone's like, You're full of shit. All right, print the story on page one. Keep your fingers crossed that this paper isn't sued for libel by some of these phony suspects that the police are bringing in. Well, I get me a Rembrandt of the guy they just brought in. I don't want photographs. I want real clues. The DA's office can't pick up this bad man who's stealing the bodies of these dead girls. Maybe we can. This okay, guy? You're talking about throw it in a waste basket. this no, guy or this guy? Doyle, where's Lefty? Over at Central Station. The only thing he gets over there is a game of Jim Romney. Tell him to get back here. Well, I got something. I'll say you have your fire. What do you mean? You can't do that to me. Listen, just because the bodies of dead girls disappear is no reason why you can do a vanishing act. But you gave me the assignment. Yeah, I suppose I did. All right, where have you been? What have you uncovered? Well, hey, not so fast. Listen, Mr. Keenan, last night I went through the most gruesome experience of my life. You should talk. All my life has been a nightmare. Well, you can rest easier now because I've seen plenty. I'm a white man. If I can Life's tough. I wasn't dreaming. Dreaming? I had a dream last night myself. I dreamed you gave me that raise you've been promising me. All right, Madam Zora, go on with your dream story. <laughs> Most well, of the dudes in this movie are assholes. Lives upstate. He knows all about orchids, but insists that he doesn't grow them anymore. Yet I found these in my bedroom this morning. Listen, Dizzy, you didn't go off someplace and get married, did you? No, I didn't. But I saw the bodies of those other missing brides. All right. Now, take it easy. Stop breathing hard, Pat, and tell me all about it. Did you really see any bodies? Well, yes and no. I see. Just a bit of ectoplasm. Well, I'm sure I did, though, only... Oh, I can't explain it. Yeah, you're suffering the same way I am. You're doing a I terrible job of explaining what happened. I wedding bells ringing in my ears. And I saw a dead man, too. A monstrosity. Very well. I'd like to see Miss Hunter. 
Oh, I'm sorry. She's busy. She's with Mr. Keenan. It's very important that I see her. I'm Dr. Foster. I wonder if you'd mind announcing me. <laughs> Mr. Keenan? I'm a doctor and a man who wants Foster to go here. in, so please, let me inside. Her. Tell him he can have all of her time from now on. That's the Dr. Foster I was telling you about. Maybe he has more evidence. All right, send the saw bones in. Hey, look, if you don't mind, I'm going out for a nervous breakdown. Well, Doctor, you almost beat me here. Yes, I drove down. Dr. Foster, Mr. Keenan, my editor. Very glad to meet you. How do you know? This cub reporter of mine has been telling me a weird story about a certain Dr. Lorenz up in your neighborhood. <laughs> it's weird, all right, but I'm Basically. confident it's true. After you left, I looked around the station to find out if Lorenz had any of the coffins assigned to him. I found a consignment, all right. And instead of a coffin, it was a box filled with this stuff. So what? That's ordinary garden moss. It's moss, all right, but not ordinary. This is a special type used by florists and hybridizers for growing orchids. It's called osmondin. Which proves that he does grow orchids like these. And the same kind were worn by every one of the brides that died. Well, maybe it is a clue. But how do I know that the rest isn't a cockeyed nightmare? She admits that you don't remember talking to her. I could have talked to her while in the somnambulistic state, under the influence of hypnotism. Oh, now, wait a minute. He overplucked his eyebrows. Are you trying to tell me that this <laughs> Professor Lorenz is a hypnotist as well as a horticulturist? Why not? My short acquaintance with him has convinced me that he's a man of unlimited talents. He's strange, peculiar. I've even suspected him. I loved insane. how this dude was like, I don't believe a word you said. And then a dude came in who was like, I have I just as flimsy evidence. Is. Well, I, I believe you. Case of all. Professional ethics forbids a doctor talking about his patients. Oh, forget about your ethics, doctor. After all, we're after a criminal. How does this woman fit into the picture? Come on, tell us all you know. The peculiar fact about her is that although she has the appearance of a young woman, her heart and arteries indicate that she's at least 70 or 80 years old. Well, that doesn't explain anything. Certainly doesn't explain why Dr. Loren should steal these dead girls. It's possible they may still be alive. Alive in a cataleptic state? That's it. All right, all right. What are your other deductions? Well, simply this. They're talking These like she's not even fucking here. Are being used by Lorenz in some manner as human guinea pigs to sustain his wife in a youthful state. Oh, that's preposterous. Wow, that's it's so shitty. Of kind. Scientists are finding out every day that glands and hormones have a lot to do with life and health. The glands in our bodies help determine the condition of our teeth, the oh, texture he of our hair. His penis. All right, we'll admit all that. But I wouldn't dare print such a fantastic story. I bring you the biggest story of the year and a chance to get this newspaper a real scoop, and you call it fantastic. All right, I'll put Doyle on it to track it down. I'm afraid you won't get very far. Professor Lorenz is a clever man. Clever enough to withstand any investigation and destroy any evidence. Why not trap the fellow? How? Well, he steals dead brides, doesn't he? Oh, now, look, Pat, do you want to be a June bride? Well, sure. I mean, that is, no, not yet. Anyway, Lorenz knows me. All right, then stop talking nonsense. This paper can't assume the responsibility of such a harebrained scheme. Oh, please, Mr. Keenan, you can't pass up an opportunity like this. Because <laughs> that dude mentioned that his daughter's getting married soon. So is he just like, she's just like, yeah, put your daughter at risk. There she is. Cigarette? Hey, she's cute. Um, well, would you like to dance? Later. Business before pleasure, you know. Also, you just Hello, complimented Hello, another Pat. woman. This works, Dr. Foster. Good evening. I hope his do daughter do? does die. Wow. Tell you. I'm all ears. Let's go to your dressing room. Okay. I won't be long. All right. We've already had one slap. Are we going to get another slap? Peggy, I've landed a good part for you. A chance to prove your talent. Really? What is it? A picture or a play? Neither one. My paper's going to stage a phony wedding, and we want you to be the perfect June bride. Now, wait just a With minute. With bridesmaids and flowers and all the trimmings. What is it, a circulation stunt? No. You've heard of the case of the vanishing bride. Sure. Well, this is a plan we have to trap the person who's been I was just so body. shocked. There was like Are a slap kidding? real Certainly early not. that came out of nowhere. And I was like, oh my God, is this going to be a slap like happy movie? Dead. You won't be dead. All you have to be careful of is not to smell any flowers. All I do is lie six feet underground and push them up. Nick, count me out. Listen, Peggy, I'm offering you a chance to get your picture on the front page of every newspaper in this country. Overnight, you'll be famous. Broadway producers and Hollywood studios will be offering you contracts. Yeah, they're totally looking like the at crime stories for. for talent. Later, please show Oops the Slam. <laughs> will do. She's the most unusual type. Hold on. Let's just do it now in case Oops gets another meeting. Hold on.
Right here. About what? No one asked you to come here. You are not welcome. Boom! Control yourself, my dear. I'm sure Miss Hunter meant no harm. Please forgive my wife. She's not well. Come. This is another one for the cheap seats. What do you do? We have been... Come. Cut my... About what? No one asked you to come here. You are not welcome. Control yourself, my dear. And uh, sure uh, not, uh, Shadow has suggested that that was not in the script. <laughs> Come, get better retire. We want, we want. She's the most unusual type. Such fascinating eyes. She'll make a charming addition to our family. June twentieth. A day we shall not forget. The slappy was surprised. Father, what are you doing in this part of the house? Master, I keep hearing I hope my it wasn't son's scripted. voice wow. calling for me. Your son is better off where he is. Go back to your work. Master, you shouldn't have done it. He didn't deserve to die. Do what I say and don't come up here again. Yes, uh. master. You're just asking for a mutiny there, brother. Killing off family members of the other guys and then telling them to get the fuck out. Well, everything's all set. She's young and pretty. Yeah. What a she looks just like the reporter from the other the, the other movie what we just watched. Kidnap this fake bride? Well, the private chapel and neighborhood will be covered with guards and, well, Lorenz hasn't a chance to escape. Mm. That's just because there isn't any other people up. of color exactly. and that's technically racist. I'm the sucker and I have 500 bucks. And if he does, you have an exclusive story with big, juicy headlines. I hope you're right. Well, blushing bride, here's where you go on for your big scene. Or big flop. My knees are shaking. There's nothing to be afraid of. Here's your bouquet and the phony orchid. Now, don't forget to put on your act. Leave that to me. You got plenty of photographers out there? Certainly. And what about the cops? How many times do I have to tell you nothing's going to happen to you? Oh, uh, Miss Hunter. Yes? Uh, I wanted to ask you, in this ceremony, shall we use the word cherish or obey? You mean for the bride? Yes. Well, just for this once, let's put the old-fashioned word in. Obey. I've marked the words here. Just read the ceremony slowly, solemnly. Yes, I understand. I hope what you're doing isn't wrong. It's all in good cause. Well, I suppose it is. <laughs> Well, if you need me, you'll find me in my study. Thank you. You've been grand, Reverend. You'd better go get ready. <laughs> what do I do Thanks now? Thanks for helping us Just make this down the sham island. wedding. Don't forget the thing at the altar. Well, here goes nothing. How's everything going? All right so far, I guess. Good. The ceremony's about to begin. I love I that this isn't happening by cops. It's happening by you know, it reporters. Seems to me that if reporters have right come up with a orchid. sting operation. Just a minute. I'll take that. Did Don't worry. And I'll take you with it. There you are. Looks like our man's going to pounce, all right. It looks like you're right. Dr. Foster? It certainly is. You've known the you've known her for like Minister less like than three weeks. Study, Miss Hunter. But oh, you mean the real minister. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'll be right back. Is she going to arrange a real wedding during the fake one to this dude she barely knows? Who? Oh. oh damn. Where's Pat? The minister sent for her. <laughs> it's better than the, hey, I'm going to have to marry you so I can beat you up. <laughs> that was a pretty worse <clears throat> proposal. Better put my hat on. Got her. Well, 
Where did my fiance go? I'll be right back. <laughs> That's the purpose of the stream, to give guys bad ideas for their proposals. What is he doing? Who's he scoping out for? <laughs> he knew it was a trap. Oh shit, we gonna get some fire? Oh, he got the little dude! That's Please, fucked up! Don't leave me. Wow! Don't leave me, and he straight kicked him. Oh my god, I shot a child! <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. That is fucked up. This movie did the same exact thing. These movies must have been made by the same guy. Or the same group of people. We get Bella Lugosi, we write like a whatever story. Towards the end, with like less than 10 minutes left, we heighten the drama with shitty music. Toby, my son, where is Toby, master? Toby's gone. Headless. You shouldn't have left. Stop whimpering. How is the Countess? Waiting as usual. Hurry up, let's go. This dude has killed two of her sons. <laughs> Bring her into the laboratory. Sure, we only use like two things in here, but we got there all the stuff. Trouble? Yes, but we'll be finished before anyone finds us. But the blight! What will we do without them? Yes, we'll leave them here. Which means I will perish! Well, it isn't hope that I find other girls. In the meantime, we take this one with us. What are you waiting for? Was well, he? Oh shit, need. he was uh, Master only and or Blaster. I can't remember which one was which. I would have preferred that you would be a bride, but it really doesn't matter. You will serve our purpose just as well. Now both of my sons are gone. You betrayed me, man. <laughs> Slap number two? I heard enough. Oh, that shit. Was. was there two slaps? Oh, my dear. Again, we meet. Only under different circumstances. I would have preferred that you would be a bride, but it really doesn't matter. You will serve our purpose just as so well. So it doesn't even need to be a bride. Now both of my sons are gone. You betrayed me, man. <laughs> I heard enough. That worked. Two slaps. One was less of a real slap, more of a slap with the, the glove, but it was still a slap. I love how he's, like, extracting this thing just to keep his wife alive. But he's like keeping him safe and all this shit, and it's like, uh, why? You don't care about them. You only care about your wife. Oh shit! No, no! You betrayed me, master. You shouldn't have done it. You bitch! Ooh, punch. Damn, he's just choking fools. <laughs> she stab him in that spot where you can't scream? I learned that from Turner and Hooch. Your hand is unsteady. Come Yeah, it's set up the exact same way as the last movie we watched. It's probably why it's in there. Oh shit, I can overpower you. Oh damn! 
She faints all the time. She's fainted twice in this room alone. I didn't even know what her name was. Just scared to death. All right. Patricia Hunter is her name. Do I get a byline? After this, you can have a clothesline with my shirt on it. <laughs> she has an iron deficiency. I now pronounce you man and wife. And they're married. make a newspaper woman out of you, and then you have to go and quit. And to think that this was the cause of it all. <laughs> she married this douche. And that's it. That's the corpse vanishes. Uh, and the douche was married. Anyway, uh, what? Oh, it's established early that that orchid that he had in his hand was given to all the brides so that they'd pass out and they'd grab the body and uh, send it on to their uh, plan of keeping his wife together through uh, gland therapy. It's all, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, oops. Not very good. Somehow a little bit better than, uh, Min, uh, Bowery at Midnight, but anyways, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, <laughs> why did he think? He had the orchid in his hands. He was just stupid and put it next to his face. Uh, but either way, I gotta use the restroom real quick, come back, uh, final thoughts, and goodbyes. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, the corpse vanishes. Um, similar setup to Midnight in Bowery, or Bowery at Midnight, but it's a... I think a better execution and a little more scary, a little more horror-based. I think they kind of just throw out the idea that Midnight at Bowery is horror when it really isn't. This one is a horror concept and it's just executed a little bit better, has more interesting characters, has a little bit better acting, not a lot, a lot. Pacing is pretty much the same, and execution is pretty much the same, and it's not that great. And, uh... I can see why Bella Lagos is a, uh, a great vampire, but I don't see how he's a great villain otherwise, <laughs> you know? He was in that one movie that was, like, about World War II that I'm sure I could find if I look through my list of movies, which I can right now, so I don't know why... I was uh, waiting. Um, I also have to move the corpse vanishes down to the watch list as opposed to the suggestion list. Um, Black Dragons was the movie where he played a guy who was like <coughs> hunting down Japanese soldiers who were... Um, who used plastic surgery to look white. It was the same movie that had the horrible um, line in it with, uh, I'm gonna have to marry you to beat you up so I can get you out of here. It's the same movie. But either way, uh, not the best film. But that's okay, because when it comes to movies, the bad ones teach you why you like the good ones, and this one was not that great. And it was somehow better than Midnight at Bowery. Um, Thank you to everybody who showed up. Uh, sorry to kind of rush the ending like this, but uh, I really have to get some lunch. I also have to use the restroom for an extended period, if you know what I'm talking about. And I got to do some other things today. I did not plan to watch two movies, and we did anyways. And it was fun, and I, I did enjoy it, um, because it's crazy that another movie poster was in the movie for a different public domain movie. It's pretty, pretty cool. So... Um, Thank you, Oops, for hanging out, and Shadow for hanging out, and uh, Past Tense. I don't know if Hetrick was here. I know he was name, his name was mentioned, but I don't know if he was watching. Anybody who was watching but not in the chat, I appreciate it. Uh, Shadow, thanks for gifting that sub. Thank you for subbing this entire, this whole time. Uh, Oops, thank you for using some of your Kirk bucks. I uh, hope, hopefully, I can even add more random shit to that, and uh, I hope you guys have yourself... A good one, and hopefully I'll catch you on Wednesday, which I'm trying to get some phasmophobia set up for the sp for the spooky season, really. But I also really enjoy playing that game, 
and uh, I played privately with someone who's even way more scared than I could ever be playing that game, and I really want to I really want to play it uh, with him publicly to humiliate him, no, but to enjoy the game with him in his own way. Uh, have a good Monday to you, oops. Have a good Monday to Shadow. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys Wednesday, Sunday, or next Monday. Next Monday is Eternal Evil, which looks pretty bad, but it is another horror movie, um, from the 80s. So it has color, and it looks like it has bad. So, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys then. Peace!